Hi there, Laura Resnick with Remax Suburban. Wanted to talk to you a little bit about closing day today. Um, on closing day, it's been a while getting there, but we're all pretty excited about it for all sorts of different reasons. Um, but you're going to be just ecstatic waiting to get into your, your place. And just don't forget that it's important to bring a valid ID Probably you'll be asked to bring a blank check just in case a number is off here or there, and probably the cashier's check that your attorney told you to bring. Quite often they'll ask you to bring in a little bit more than their um, information shows uh, just in case. And if you do bring in a little bit more than is needed, you'll get a check right back at, at the title company. So the morning of the closing, we will go to the property, we'll look around, make sure everything is still as it was when we purchased it or made the offer on it. Uh, anything that might have come up in inspection that the seller was supposed to take care of, we're going to double check those, make sure you know what those are. I'm checking different things than you. Um, and then we're going to go to the title company for the closing. Sometimes it's held at an attorney's office, sometimes at a real estate office, but we'll go to the closing and that's where the closer will ask you for your IDs and the check that you're bringing, the cashier's check. And then you're going to sign documents about that big and the attorney, your trusted partner, will uh, explain that all to you. Uh, once that is all signed, typically those documents are faxed, emailed, scanned, to your lender and someone on the other end is making sure that everything is signed properly and initialed properly. And then we are closed and then the property is yours and someone's going to hand you the key and it is yours. You can go and don't forget to transfer your utilities. That's a problem. If you go there and there's no water, that's kind of a drag. Um, but that's the idea of closing and that's a wonderful day. But it does take a little bit of time. So make sure that you have set aside some time from work. A lot of people think it's just going to be a short period of time and then they're going to go back to work. Sometimes it doesn't work that way. So it's, it's a good day to take off of work just in case something funky comes up along the way. So I'm happy to help you. 630-975-0615 is my phone number. Feel free to text anytime.